hi guys so welcome back to my channel today i want to do a hair care video so if you want to see how i get my curls or how i maintain my curls this is my natural hair then please just keep on watching this is the first time i'm doing a hair care video uh so this is the products that i'm using now this will probably change and i might film another one uh, later on if you want to like an updated version in a year or so but I have quite long and natural curly hair um, it looks like this um, when I cut it I usually cut some of the ends and then I tell my hairdresser to cut it in like sections so my curls don't get that so heavy uh, so yeah, this is how my hair looks like and first off, I've, I've been using this for like two weeks so I can't really say anything about them quite yet or yes I can but the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using right now is the Briojo Curl Charisma Rice Amino Plus Avocado Hydrating Shampoo and the conditioner one that has uh, it says rice amino plus she curl defining conditioner. This has no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. These are quite new, as I said. Uh, I do like to use a shampoo and conditioner that doesn't contain any sulfates or silicones, even though all of my hair care products does. I know that sounds a bit weird, but I do actually uh, really love this. Um, I have tried the Bumble and Bumble Curl range. I do really love that as well. And then I have used like nourishing shampoos from the drugstore. But these are a bit more expensive. And But this is really good for curly hair. And as I said, I, I haven't used up this yet. But I do really like them. Then sometimes if you have curly hair, it can be a bit dry it needs kind of a hydrating um product in it so i've been tr using half of this as well but i've had this for um almost a year now this is the Biojo don't the De don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and i bought this because of kathleen lights actually uh this the, it says don't despair repair contains a, a unique blend of coconut avocado sweet almond and organ oils and hair essential vitamin b5 and biotin to re revitalize dry damaged hair to look and feel visibly healthy here and stronger fortify hair against future damage and enhance change shine and moisture this i do really recommend and i do really like as i said i've used half of it this smells really good. This smells... It smells okay, but this smells better. Um, so, so I usually deep condition my hair. Uh, I try to do it once a month, but I'm really bad at this. Let me see if this has a... This is supposed to be open for 18 months. So I really need to use this up within the next 6 months or so. Or so. Uh, but I can really recommend that. I think this series has, an o has its own mask. And I will try that as well. Once I'm out of this. Then uh, when, my hair, when I have shampooed and conditioned my hair. Or used a hair mask. Uh, I get out of the shower. And my hair is really like uh, tangled up. So I usually use a hair oil. And I haven't found anyone that is super special yet so i have three that i have right now uh, but none of these will I, I will buy again i want to try something else but i have the moroccan oil treatment um it looks like i have the smaller bottle it looks like this. i only have this much left this is okay uh then i have the this is from profs it's a swedish brand i think it's it's an argan oil as well it's okay and then I have this Dove Advanced Hair Series Regenerate Nourishment for Damaged Extremely Distressed Hair Serum in Oil. Um, yeah, I like this as well. So I usually put a large amount of oil in my hair after 
after I'm out of the shower and then I usually brush my hair. I only brush my hair when it's wet and I'm, I know you're not supposed to do that. But that means I only brush my hair once or twice a week depending on how many times I wash my hair. I don't wash my hair more than three times a week. I'm, I'm trying to keep it down to two. Because I have... Um, I have colored my hair and I don't want the color to fade as fast. So yeah, I put in some oils uh, and then I brush it through. Then I always use a leave-in cream. Now this, I have a lot of leave-in creams actually and I love them all. But I've taken out three that I love extra much. So I have this Not Your Mother's Kinky Moose Leave-In Conditioner. Intense moisturizing for all curl types, anti-frizz and curl retention. I uh, have used this now for four years, I think. I have repurchased like four bottles. I love this, I love that it comes in a pump. It smells really good, it smells like fruits. Um, and it's I, it's what I have now, it's what was closer. It this I, I washed my hair yesterday and this was the closest thing on my desk. so. I, I put this in but this I can really recommend I bought mine at Ulta in the US I'm not sure if we have this brand here in Sweden but I can recommend that L last year they came out with a new curl series from Not Your Mother's so I bought this this is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream lock in moisture defrizz and add shine to define your true curls I love this a lot actually. I will buy, I will repurchase this instead of this because I think I have one unopened of this. So I will repurchase this this summer. Uh, I also bought this at Ulta. This also smells really good. Uh, it's cruelty free and made in the US. Uh, it's, uh, it looks like. Uh, Let me see if they have a opening. No, they didn't, do not. Uh, but this I can really recommend. Not Your Mother's. The brand Not Your Mother's is really good, actually. Then I'm almost out of this. This is the Deva Curl Believe in Miracle Curl Plumper. Texture and volume. 100% sulfate, paraben, parabens and silicone free. Um, this I use as a leave-in cream as well. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is a curl leave-in curl cream. I love this as well, but this is a little bit more expensive than the um, Not Your Mother's one. And I want to try the Biogeo Curl Charisma leave-in cream. Um, so I will probably buy that instead of this, but I can really recommend this. I, I did actually really love this. I bought mine in Sephora in the US. Not sure where you can buy Deva Curl in Sweden. So sorry about that. I know you can buy Briojo at, at Apotea here in Sweden um, <clears throat> and they often have discounts because this is a little bit more pricey. Okay, so when I've done all of this, I usually let my hair dry natural. I don't use any hair blow blowers, is it called that? Yeah, hair blowers? No, it's not called that. Anyway, I don't use anything to dry my hair, I let it dry naturally. I often go to sleep like an hour after I've showered. Um, so the next day, like today, I usually use a curl spray or something like that. And I have quite a few and I'm actually going to show you every one because this is my favorite step and everything I've tried I have loved but that's just because my hair is kind of easy to style just because it's so curly and when I use a leave-in cream my hair really loves it but I have first off I have two herbal essences this is the Tussle Me Softly Tussling Spray Gel and this is the Set Me Up Spray Gel um, I usually use this, this is my favorite. Um, and I just spray, I can show you, I just spray this along my hair and then I kind of hug my curls 
so it gets a bit less frizzy and more defined. Did you see? It kind of made it more like wavy. So this I really love. I bought that at Walmart in the US. Um, so this I this I have used also for like four years, and it's one of my favorite things for my curly for my curls. Then I have this Moroccan oil curl re-energizing spray. Not a fan of this. The spray does not work that good. You have to shake it and it squirts out a little bit too little product. Um, and I don't like the smell of this. But <clears throat> it does actually help with the curls. So that's why I'm mentioning it. I will use this up before... Uh, buy anything new I think uh, but this is not my favorite thing for my hair then I have this from L'Oreal this is the stylista the, the curl tonic and as you can see I've used more than half of this I love this for my hair actually I'm not sure if this is being discontinued because this is always on sale here in Sweden so I'm not sure but I really love this and I think that this really makes a difference for my curls. But once again, all people are different. Um, then I have this Bumble and Bumble Curl Pre-Style Primer for nourished and re-energized curls. This is also a curl spray. I'm almost out of this so I'm moving this from my bathroom in here so that I can use this up. I did really love this. I do really love the Bumble and Bumble Curl series. I've tried... The shampoo and conditioner as I said I've tried this and I also tried like a oil from them and I love them all so the bumble and bumble I can really recommend then I have one that I'm almost out of as well and this was an emergency buy I'm not sure I bought this in Sweden but this is the Tresemme make waves high def waves and curls this is like a um, Sculpt and Defy spray gel. So I have this much left and I'm really proud of that. This is kind of a gel formula. Um, this makes my hair quite greasy like day two or day three uh, when it's need, when it really needs to be washed but I do really love this. Uh, I don't think Tresemme is cruelty free so if you're not cruelty free you can't buy this but I really liked this and um, I like the smell of it as well and it does really help with my curls and then this was an emergency buy when I went to London like a year ago I think this is the Garnier Fructi Style Wonder Waves Wave Enhancing Spray and I have this much left uh, this is this this is soft tussled waves frizz control and it's number one on the flexible hold so this is really good to like spray in and, and then you can kind of form it with your hands. I love the smell of fructis stuff and I did really enjoy this hence the amount I have left. So I usually use some of this and then I usually just do what I did a second ago I just hug my curls and then I just go on about with my day. So this is kind of how I do my hair. Uh, I have a curling iron and I have a flat iron. Um, I never use them. I have the ones from GHD so I have the expensive ones as well. Uh, but I never use them. Um, so I can't really tell you what I use if I use them. I have a um what's this called i have a heat spray from marianila that i hardly ever use just because of that uh, then i actually have two um dry shampoos from colab this is the galactic fragrance and this is the fruity fragrance i never i i hardly ever use dry shampoo because my hair is quite dry and my scalp doesn't get that like greasy feeling it just it just doesn't uh, but if I want to smell if I want my hair to smell uh, a lot more or that's the wrong word but if I if I say that I went to the gym today I would not be um, 
washing my hair afterwards because I washed it yesterday and then tomorrow it will be fine but the day after that it can look a little bit and act a little bit weird so I usually use one of these uh, or I just put it up in a bun to be honest uh, but yeah this was my uh, hair care routine and how I do with my curls please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please leave a comment down below if you can recommend me anything that I haven't mentioned here that are for curly hair and once again thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not already and until I make another one you guys please take care bye